Hey guys, I'm Larissa, and today I'm going to talk about meeting Ariel, Belle, Cinderella, and Aurora to get my awesome hand-painted character jacket signed in the Disney parks. Today I'm just going to talk about these characters, but I do have a previous video about how I made the jacket and why I think it really helped go above and beyond at some character interactions, so I will link that down below, and if you want to subscribe and stay tuned, I'm going to have more videos like this one focusing on different character interactions between me and characters that are on the jacket to get it signed. Like so many other girls, I've been a huge fan of Ariel and Mermaids since I was a little girl. So, of course, she was one of the first characters to sort of cement a spot on this jacket. There was a little bit of a wait in the line that day, but it wasn't too bad. Of course, it helped having the jacket as my sort of reason to be there, or I might have just skipped over it and given up on her that day. The jacket also had a definite impact on the actual interaction. She immediately latched onto it and was tying it into her story, which I thought was really, really cute and very creative on her part. She was asking me if it was like my collection of treasures, much like her cave of little human treasures that she has in the movie. Very cute. I liked that tie-in and that this jacket ended up giving the character something to go on because I'm sure it gets a little old mentioning the same things and saying the same lines all day every day to little princesses that are so excited to meet Ariel. Much like Ariel, Belle has a very special place in my heart, so of course she had to be on the jacket. We talked about how nice it was to have all of her friends there together on the jacket as she signed it, and we talked about our love of books. As usual, Cinderella kind of had shoes on the brain, so the importance of accessories was kind of a driving force in our conversation. She asked if I had ever lost the jacket before, and when I said no, she said that if I ever did, to make sure that my fairy godmother helped me find it. I also thought it was cute how she had to kind of finagle her signature in there because Aurora's got a little bit overly enthusiastic, but Cinderella was very sweet about it and was like, oh, it's okay, she has a nice big fancy signature and a fairly big name, I understand, it's alright, I can work it in right here, and she just sort of tilted it and worked it in, and it was still a lovely little signature, she did a very good job. Even though she had those gloves to deal with, I think the character did a fantastic job. Speaking of Aurora, I met with her in the France Pavilion during the Festival of the Arts, and she was absolutely adorable. She was so cute and like called over the photographer and the handler and was showing them the jacket. Very sweet and complimentary. It's always nice as an artist when people are excited about a piece that you've done, even if it's something kind of silly like this jacket. Aurora's movie is also a little bit older, and I think a lot of the little girls nowadays don't even really have a good idea of who she is. I know I've talked to little girls who just wanted to have her dress because it was the pink one and they didn't even know the name of the princess. So I think she was just really flattered and very happy to just be included in the jacket. And that's it. That's the first four interactions in my hand-painted Disney jacket. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I have another video that I will link down below that explains how I actually made the jacket. And if you want to subscribe and stay tuned, I'm going to have a whole bunch more videos just like this one, all different character interactions and getting them to sign this jacket. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.